Welcome back. Well, this Friday evening, prepare to forget everything you thought you knew about magic. Premonition Live takes the stage of the Orpheum Theater to bring you mystery as well as excitement. That's right. Joining us today from Premonition Live is magician Travis Nye. Travis, thank you so much for joining us. We've this been day. waiting Absolutely. a long time for you yes. to come here and do this. Thank you. Good, good. I'm glad to be here. Yes. Now, we do want to mention Travis and I actually met. He was doing some fire breathing downtown on the streets of <laughs> yeah. Sioux Falls, and that was how we met each other. Um, is that something that you do frequently is kind of walk up and down the streets of Sioux Falls like that? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I've been doing it more often, uh, just kind of promoting the show that's coming up. Sure. Um, but uh, the fire breathing seems to actually bring in more people mm -hmm. than uh, card tricks. It's a lot easier for people to stop and want to see that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Something I think a lot of people would stop for. Right, exactly. Fire yes. on the street. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. obvious reasons, we couldn't have you do fire breathing. <laughs> yeah, we have some studio. rules around here. <laughs> <laughs> Management yes. wasn't on board with that. Right. Yeah. Now, real quickly, tell us the details of Premonition Live this Friday. Uh, so it's a show that, uh, it's an 18 and up show, so that is important. There's nothing vulgar or offensive in it, but it uh, does have a few stunts that we just don't want some younger kids to try. Oh, okay. sure. Um, I'm performing with one other guy, uh, Zach Tenebo, goes by Z Stonish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Friday, October 30th at the Orpheum Theater. Uh, tickets are $15 for it. You can get them online at prem premonitionlive.com. Uh, we also have them at Last Stop CD Shop, or you can get them the day of the show. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Should be fun. Well, yeah. let's go ahead and let's get some tricks started. Let's see a few tricks. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to start out here. I got two brand new decks. They're still sealed. Okay. Um, if you had to choose, which one would you pick? Would you pick a blue one or a red one? I'd pick blue. The blue one. That's perfect. My favorite color. Okay. Um, we'll come back to that. Let's set that one there for okay. now. Okay. Um, we're going to open this, and you can keep the blue one here in just a minute. Okay. Okay. First. This, this is brand new. I'm seeing this here. Yes. 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 So. This is fresh trash here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put these away. And okay. actually, I'm going to use four aces for you. That's the most common card there is here. Four everybody aces, can, okay. Uh, and I'll try yeah, to do this works. here so everybody can see what's going on. Okay, excellent. So are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Could you hold out your right hand for me? Okay. And uh, just like this, we're going to use this little false table there, so I absolutely okay. can't do nothing. And we're just going to use the four aces. Four aces, okay. Uh, one at a time. There are four aces. Right. One at a time right there, we have the ace of spades. Okay. Okay. I will put that one face down in your hand. This time I'm going to go off the bottom, and we have the ace of clubs. Okay. I won't put the club on top but I'll put it on bottom. It's on the bottom, okay. Without looking, where is it? Is it on top or bottom? It's on the bottom. If I snap my fingers, would you be impressed if it's on top? I, I would. I wouldn't be able to believe it. Here, let's make it a little bit even more impressive here. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Right there. Go ahead and turn those ones over if you want. If you don't believe me. Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay, there's nothing wrong with my hand, I don't think. <laughs> what? What in the world? That's awesome. <laughs> that what is way happened? cool. <laughs> Is oh that my real gosh, life? That's, cool. that's real life. There's no trickery there. <laughs> that's wow. Maybe a little trickery. <laughs> Maybe a little sliding. Yeah. Ahead. Right, right. Uh, for you, could you um, hold your hand out for me? Just like this. Okay. I'm going to take the cards, put them on top. Could you put your other hand on top just so I can't get to it? Okay. Uh, would you just say stop? Stop. Right there. Okay. I have a marker in my pocket. I'm going to actually make you a little bit of a souvenir here. Oh. Awesome. I knew you were excited about me coming on, <laughs> so, so why not? Get a little signature for That's you. That's right. Okay, so the Queen of Hearts, okay. Okay. my signature on it right there. Uh, what I'll actually do, lose it into the deck. Did you feel it? Mm -mm. Okay. Let's see. I don't see, I don't see it either. the Queen of Hearts in there. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, Let's bring your hand a little bit closer to the center here so everybody can see. Go ahead and sit it like that. Open your hand. <laughs> oh. Sealed what? in a brand new deck <laughs> of cards. <laughs> and, and, what? It's Sealed. like in the wrapping, you guys. Now you have okay. the option here. You can either keep it in the wrapping and have the magic with you as a signed card. And that's his signature. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bring right it up there. close. Like this is his signature on the card right there. That's <laughs> wow. Mind blown. I, you know, I was watching you really carefully too this whole time to see if I could maybe pick up on what's going on, and My mind is I can't just figure it out <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Oh so you can okay. keep it as is. That that can be yours. That can be a souvenir. Okay. Uh, if you open it up, then you're just left with a regular regular deck of playing I'm gonna, cards. I'm gonna well, keep perfect. it like yeah. that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. But if you do open it, then uh, you know. I mean, that should be a red-backed queen in there. Sure. So. Okay, well, now I want to open it, and I've got to <laughs> double check. Hey, All real right, quick, for, for any maybe young aspiring magicians that are watching, too, how long have you been doing this, and how did you kind of get your start with it? Uh, I started when I was younger, I think probably my freshman year in high school, uh, about okay. the year 2000. Um, I started out 
with some of the worst tricks you could ever think of, just <laughs> driving my friends and family nuts. Sure. Stuff that, you know, I'd be like, check this out, and I'd show them a magic trick, and like, that's great. Eventually got burnt out. I, uh, I found one trick that just blew them all away, and from that moment I was hooked. Just the expression and reactions they gave me from that wow. one trick. So guys, very cool. Is, I'll start this with one so trick, cool. guys. <laughs> cool. Yep. Well, again, real quick, just remind us again about Premonition Live uh, details, yes. time, Friday, location. Friday, Orpheum Theater. Yep, Friday, October 30th, uh, this coming Friday. Show starts at 8 p.m. The doors open at 7. Get tickets online at premonitionlive.com. You can get them at Last Stop CD Shop, and you can also get them the day of the event at the theater. Awesome. Perfect. Travis, thank you so much. We'll have all of this information on our website after the show, kdlt.com. We'll take a break and be right back.